Denmark. Ranked as the number one happiest country in the world year after year. That's 17 spots higher than the United States. Denmark is also one of the healthiest, greenest, and most democratic countries in the world. It is the birthplace of fairy tales like The Little Mermaid, Legos, and Cheese Danish. Happy, healthy, and peaceful. Three words that have never been used to describe any stand-up comedian. If it's true that comedy comes from dark, unhappy places, can humor survive in such a climate of happiness? I'm Brooks Whelan, and I'm in Copenhagen to find out. One of the happiest things about Copenhagen is its canals, so that seemed like a good place to start. Hello. Oh shit. Yeah. You okay? We're done. Yeah? No. Yeah, the rudder busted off. No. Yeah, we have a phone number to call him. I mean, we don't have a rudder. What? We're being rescued by two strong Danish men. Nothing makes me feel like a worse American. We got towed back. They wanted to refund our money since we didn't use the full two hours. Basically, showing us that Denmark truly is the greatest country of all time. Is this what it feels like to be Danish? I couldn't wait to meet some happy Danish locals. The world is told Denmark is the happiest country in the world. Are you happy? Right now, I'm happy, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm happy, yeah. Yes, I'm super happy. Really? Yeah. So What's nice that place. like? Have Danish people always been this happy? To get a little historical perspective, I headed to one of Denmark's most famous historic landmarks, Rosenborg Castle. This is my first castle. I see. It's very exciting yeah. for me. Oh my goodness. My museum tour guide showed me around private rooms that belonged to Danish kings, some of whom I quickly learned were extremely creepy. This is Frederick IV's room, who turns out was a huge perv. He would have people walk in here, and then his desk was right there, and he would just look up their skirts. Like he was like, why don't you sing it? Why don't you send in Brenda? And then like Brenda would come in and she'd be like, you wanted to see me? And he's like, ah. And they apparently liked fart jokes. You'd sit down, mm -hmm. it would trap you. Exactly. And then spray water in your face. Maybe not in your face, but just over here. So you would get, you know, connotations. It would spray like your... you would wet yourself. Exactly. In the end, when the poor person would get up, there is a sort of a cushion. Uh, like a whoopee uh, cushion, like it would make it sound like they farted. Exactly. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Trapped, you piss yourself, everyone laughs. Yes. You say, I don't like it here, and you get up and then you fart. Do you think, would you find it funny if someone did it to you? No. no. Oh my God, check it out. It's the first eye roll ever captured on, <laughs> on a stone sculpture. It's like she just found out about the whoopee cushion chair, and she's like, oh my God. The 17th century whoopee cushion chair slash royal torture device made me realize Danish humor may be a little more complicated than I thought. To get to the bottom of it, I had to talk to an expert, so I met up with the very funny Sophie Hagen. For those of you who don't know, a chubby chaser is a person who will only sleep with fat people. Now that I don't mind, I thrive on that. <laughs> because let me tell you one thing, there's never really a need for a chase. So you're a Danish comedian? Yes. Is there a lot of you? No, there's not. I think on a total, maybe 150. Whoa. And that's like spanning from like the people who just started like yeah. yesterday to like the big like that's, arena comedian. I think there's like 150 in my apartment complex <laughs> in Los Angeles. According to Sophie, humor and happiness do coexist in Denmark. And the best way to understand that was by taking a trip to a place called Bon Bon Land, known to the Danish people as the happiest place in Denmark. Dog's butthole? Yeah. Really molded it in there. Cow looks like it just had sex. The weirdest thing about Bamba Land may have been that I was the only person there who found it weird at all. Need to be all the way out, like completely out. 
I mean, I feel like whoever sculpted this was like, should we just do a little bit of cleavage? And then Mr. Bon Bon was like, no, dude, I want him out. And I want it to be really cold. What is this horse eating? This is feces, I think. You even made dolphins look weird. Dolphins are supposed <laughs> to be chill, and you're like, this one is like a creepy meth dolphin. This is the ride. This is the ride? What does it say? It says, Hunde Prude Rutschebein. Hunde Prude Rutschebein. Hunde Prude Rutschebein. Hunde Prude What does yeah. it mean? It means dog fart roller coaster. The dog fart roller coaster turns out to be exactly what it sounds like. A roller coaster shaped like a dog that blasts loud fart sounds in your ears. That's it. It's not for adults. No. I wrote it alone like a creepy weirdo. You nailed that, though. I suddenly realized that my understanding of Danish happiness may be all wrong. What I thought was lollipops and innocence might actually be something a little more deranged. Uh, well, you're on an earwax guy committing suicide. I'm on a rat throwing up. There's kids everywhere. This is so much weirder than I could have guessed. This is Denmark. Like, I, don't know, I don't know what you imagined when you thought of, of happiness, but I think this wasn't it. I thought, like, rainbows, and you guys are smiling, and, like, like a sun with sunglasses on, that, like, when it pops up in the morning, it's like, hey, have a good day, and you guys are like, you got it. I think, in a weird way, this is why we are happy. Because it's not all those restrictions. There's nothing we can't talk about. We just grow up with this, but I think yeah. it would make sense if that's... You know, there's no repression, there's nothing that's wrong. These things are normal, but like, bathing is normal, right? Bathing is normal, yeah. Earwax is normal, buttholes are normal. <laughs> yeah, you're right. right. Everybody has a butthole. Everybody has a butthole, yeah. I mean, if you start with this at two, you're already on the far end of, like, what is shocking. Like, so as you get older, where does the humor go? Because it's got to get crazier, but it's already so crazy. The biggest movie in Denmark, the biggest comedy. One of the first scenes is like a woman's butthole. Sure. And it goes more and more than a, a, in the very last scene is a, a seven-year-old boy's penis. Are you serious? Yes. I mean, I'm very open. I'm a comedian, but I'm like really not into little kid dicks. There's like little kids around and I don't even feel comfortable talking about I it. I even lower my voice because it's so uncomfortable. I mean, that is, that's the craziest thing I've heard. I think a lot of Danish people would be a bit proud that this has made you uncomfortable. Oh. I think that's kind of what we want. We kind we like them when people go, <gasps> and we go, oh, well, that's just our thing. We like uncomfortableness. Well, congratulations, Denmark. You succeeded. Your humor made me extremely uncomfortable. Turns out that the Danish fairy tale is a lot more twisted and a lot funnier than I ever imagined. I'm happy being here, knowing that the happiest people in the world are just a bunch of big weirdos. We like buttholes. Who doesn't like a butthole? But we don't talk about it. And we definitely don't let our kids play with dog buttholes at amusement parks. Maybe we're wrong. I mean, they seem pretty happy. Hi, I'm Glenn from Above Average. Click here for more videos. Click here to subscribe. Or tap up top for more cool stuff from Above Average. Um, sorry. Uh, my boyfriend dumped me earlier today, um, so I'm just a little, just like a bad headspace. <sighs> sorry, but you can click, it's just, you can click wherever you want, it doesn't, sorry, I don't mean to be dumping all this on you. I am gonna be so fine, I am gonna be so fine.